library. But right now we're going to talk about roads and road funding in Calhoun County. Certainly a big subject uh, before the election, and it will continue. And uh, Pastor James Sonic from Victory Life is with us this morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's nice to have you with us. Uh, you're part of a committee that's kind of looking and talking about these issues. Yeah, I kind of got drafted by some of the local officials that asked us to put together a, a citizens committee to to educate the citizens on the conditions of the roads and to also get input to empower them to take action. So hopefully we're going to see some roads being fixed in the near future. And specifically, your committee is for Emmett Township. Absolutely, yeah. This is strictly an Emmett Township committee that is gathered here. But that's a good example. I mean... I'm at probably a bit more, I guess urban's not the word I'm looking for, but less rural than some of the other townships, well, but has a lot of the same problems. It, it really does. What surprised me so much I've learned, Emmett Township is actually the largest township in Calhoun County. Uh, it has more roads there, and out of all the roads, they actually do a rating on the condition of every road from 1 to 10. 10 brand new road, 1 is, even the base is gone, it's totally gone. 80% of the roads in Emmett Township rated at two or less. Oh, my. So there is an urgent need in one of the largest townships in Calhoun County. Thank, yeah, that certainly says something. In fact, uh, there's an urgent need on your road. Uh, you know, it was a, it's probably been a, almost a couple of months now, at least a month. Uh, I woke up on a Sunday morning and I saw that, uh, that there had been a bridge that went out or something washed out and I drove over there and what a mess. The, uh, the bridge there, uh, what is the road there? C that's that's D, -Drive. D Drive. D Drive, D -Drive North. Yep. D Drive North bridge uh, washed out over Harper Creek, I believe it is. Yep. And um, there were a whole bunch of people late for church at Victory Life that day. <laughs> it, it, it gave out on a Sunday, and coincidentally, uh, one week after they asked me to be on the road committee as the chairman. So, oh divine <laughs> opportunity. But those culverts there, they discovered that were over 100 years old, or about 100 years old. And so, um, it has just been years of neglect, just like many of the other roads. It's not going to be a quick fix then. No, they've got to re-engineer it and turn it into what they call a bridge system. And uh, they've got to engineer it specially. It's going to take a few months to do that. They've got to send it out to bid, get through the winter, get through the fish spawning in the spring, uh -oh. start construction in the summer, and hopefully we're going to have a new road or a new bridge and D-Drive will be reopened probably September of 2019. Oh, that's more than a year from now. Yeah, yeah. Well, and of course, then they'll build it so that yeah, it'll it'll be flood proof. Absolutely, they, you know, absolutely. It, it'll be a good improvement and a much needed improvement. But boy, until it happens, you don't you take it for granted, right? And Just like any road, Calhoun County, the engineers, everybody's been very diligent in trying to find a solution and. Uh, it's getting a lot of attention, but it's actually a separate uh, topic just because that's going to be fixed uh, regardless of the other roads uh, seeing an assessment or a millage. Sure. It's, it's got to be a, uh, crazy, though. I mean, Victory Life is a big church. There, right. uh, How many people do you have? We're really reaching the community. We have about 1,800 people on a, on a Sunday. Uh, and so that's a lot really, of cars. It, it really is, and a lot of lives being impacted. So we're excited uh, to have that much influence in the community. They used to be able to go two ways. Now they all have to go out to six and a half miles. So right. uh, what have you done to make that go a little more smoothly? Well, we really, the, the entire road is in bad shape and has been for a while. But to really be a good neighbor, uh, we don't. We want the other neighbors, if they're trying to do shopping that day, to be able to get out. So we've hired Emmett Township Police to direct traffic. And during those short times when a service getting out, we want to empty that flow so the traffic isn't backed up so the neighbors can still come and go. Excellent. Now, back to the uh, Citizens Road Committee and the township yeah. that, that you were a part of. You've had one town hall meeting. You have another one scheduled for tonight at 6. Yep, that's going to be at Friends Church. Where's that? Friends Church is located in the Waddles Park area. And uh, just off, Waddles Park is the best way to describe it, just off of Michigan there. And mm -hmm. we're trying to locate them in different parts of the township to make easy accessibility. Uh, so that's tonight. And then next Wednesday, it's going to be right at Victory Life Church uh, okay. come, and for another town hall. Come by way of six and a half mile, by the way. <laughs> exactly. Follow the detour signs. <laughs> yeah, so that'll, that'll be in a week. 
Mm-hmm. Now, you had one, though, and I understand a few people came out for that. Yeah, we, we had probably about 75 people there. Um, a lot of people uh, are frustrated with the road condition. Uh, a lot of them uh, just don't understand all that's involved, and as a result, they don't understand why they're not being fixed. And you didn't when you started this, did you? You know, I really didn't know anything about a road other than we had a lot of potholes, and I really wanted something uh, to be done about it. I, I want to see our community uh, continue to flourish and, and, and do well and so that's how I kind of got involved is is what can we do to fix the problem uh, I was surprised that our local township does not receive any uh, funds for roads and so Emmett Township legally doesn't have any responsibility to care for the roads nor do they receive any state uh, or outside funds for the roads right and we've talked about it a lot because it's a hot issue in the campaign that We've had a lot of political people on the air here. And so we all bring up roads, and then they bring up Public Act 51 from Mm -hmm. 1951. Think about this. Public Act 51, the way that we fund our roads in Michigan, was uh, that was seven years before we even had an interstate highway anywhere in this state. (laughs) And uh, so things have changed a lot, and they have amended a little bit. But the gist of it is townships get zilch. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, there's uh, roughly a third of it that goes to MDOT, Mm -hmm. and then roughly a third that goes to counties, and there's, you know, less than a third that goes to you know, municipalities, villages, and the like. But I think that was the thing people were, and like myself, were most surprised. People say we pay a lot in taxes, and uh, when they find out that zero dollars of their millage uh, goes towards roads, many people are surprised that uh, none of their millage goes towards roads. That, that goes to other vital services in the community, such as uh, public safety and education and, and the library, uh, other needed essentials. But zero dollars of our millage actually goes towards our roads. Now, some people will say, well, it's the county's problem. The county's going to have to fix these roads. It's in the county. Right. And, and they do have a budget to, to maintain uh, those roads. But for a project of this scope, it's going to be $27 million. Other communities, it, it's simply, this is what we tell everybody, there's only three options. Do nothing. And uh, a millage failed two years ago, and we did nothing about it for the roads for two years. And the cost has gone up $5 million mm. to fix. So option one is do nothing, but that has cost $5 million. Not to mention wear and tear on everybody's vehicle. Exactly, yeah. The front end alignments, the bent rims, uh, all those things. Option two is a millage, and that would be about a, a 3.1 mils for 15 years. Uh, they've missed a deadline to put it on the ballot for November, so that would be looking at a special millage or election next year, which has some added cost and also puts the, the start of construction out another year to 2020. And increases the whole dollar amount because, as you just said, it went up $5 million while we were thinking about it from the last time. You know, time is money, and the cheapest time to fix the roads is today. Yeah, absolutely. So, mm-hmm. But it is viable. Some people uh, see advantages to the to the um, to the millages. One big advantage to the millage is the citizens get to vote for it. It gives them a, a vote and a voice and ownership. So there's some validity, but it's a it's a down the road fix. The third option that we tell people is there's an assessment. An assessment. Um, people are confused. They they hear the word assessor in there. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't mean anybody's coming out to their property. It simply means that the township board of trustees, with a simple majority vote can assess an amount per lot, which is the same for every lot, and that would be about $200. Per year? Per year for 15 years, yeah, thank you. $200 per year for 15 years. So in essence, all the local roads would be completely redone or fixed uh, for just $200 a year. That's how close we are to a solution. All right. Well, you sold me, um, <laughs> Pastor James Sonic. No, it does sound like like a very reasonable way to do it. But you know, as we could see, when people yeah. have a chance to say no on these things, mm-hmm. they do because it's the only time they can really. Absolutely. Uh, the rest of the time, it's like, hey, your taxes are going up. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Exactly. But as uh, the folks in Marshall Township will tell you this morning, you put it on the ballot. And there's a good chance that people are going to come out and say no, and they mm-hmm. did last night there. Well, the voters in Emmett Township have said no twice to a millage already. So a millage mm-hmm. proposal has been uh, 
put out there two times in the past and has failed. Uh, we just tell people those are the only three options. So the, the roads won't fix themselves. They're going to get worse. Uh, you either do nothing, you do a millage, or you do an assessment. Those are the only three options. All right. Pastor James Sonic. Victory Life Church happens to be, uh, are you the chairman of the committee? I'm the chairman of the committee, and we're going to be holding these town hall meetings to inform people of, of what are the choices and also to take those voices of the people to the township board of trustees. We can't expect them to act in, until they feel confident they know the will of the people. So mm -hmm. these township meetings are going to be very important. Pastor James Sonic of Victory Life Church is on the committee, the Citizens Road Committee in Emmett Township. And uh, basically, you're telling us, you know, what you've learned is there's three three ways that township citizens can go here in townships as far as getting roads improved. Mm -hmm. One is don't improve them, don't do anything, and just grin and bear it and hope, <laughs> hope that uh, it doesn't ruin your car on your way home every night. Uh, or uh, two, uh, a millage uh, proposal, uh, and three, a special assessment. Now, mm -hmm. the difference is a millage proposal, as you said, people get to vote on. Mm -hmm. um, and it went down last night in Marshall Township, was voted down. A special assessment would cost the average homeowner $200 a year for 15 years to take care of the problem. Is that it, what you said? It would cost every every homeowner, every lot, $200. That's the simplicity of the assessment. It's, it's mm -hmm. a flat rate for everybody. So it's like a toll road. When you pull up to a toll booth, it doesn't matter what type of car you're driving, you're going to pay 50 cents. So an assessment is very simple. It's $200. Every lot is assessed for 15 years. And a millage is based on the value of your home. So over the years, as your value of your home goes up, so does the amount of taxes you pay. It's a variable cost versus a fixed cost. I see. So if you owned a lot of land, that could you could actually be paying more than you could afford? Is that possible? Um, well, again, a, a millage goes on the, the property value. Yeah. And it, the assessment just treats every lot the same. 200 bucks. There it is. Yeah. Um, so, but. People don't vote on that. The township uh, board exactly. votes on it. How many are on the Emmett Township Board? There's seven on the Emmett Township Board. So you can appreciate, and, and I certainly understand, they really need to feel confident. This is something that people want. It is different than a millage. It has different attributes. But uh, I, I think they're being wise by saying, before we rush into something, we want to hear from the citizens. And that's the purpose of the committee. And the purpose of these town hall meetings, they've had one. The next one is tonight at Friends Church in Waddles Park. And then a week from tonight at Victory Life Church on D Drive North. Uh, what time are those? Those are at 6 o'clock. And, you know, the citizens have been really good. I know this is an emotional issue. Uh, people are frustrated, uh, but we really we really bring the focus not on the problems. Uh, they're, they're, they are what they are. To get something done, we need to really bring it to, do you have a question that we can help answer and educate or a solution? So the committee is really forward thinking with educating, answering questions, and listening to solutions. So how will it go tonight? What uh, What's going to happen at 6 o'clock at French Church? Yeah, well, what we're going to do tonight is uh, we're going to have a segment of education. We're just going to explain to people what is a millage and, and what would 3.1 mills or so cost my, my house uh, based on the value of my house. We're going to talk about an assessment and just do some education. Some of the questions we have is what about all this casino money? Uh, that has all been earmarked just like a millage, so none of it can be used for the roads. It's got to be earmarked for the millage things. We'll answer those kind of questions, and then we, then we open up for a Q&A. And we give people uh, an opportunity to, again, ask questions. Um, uh, we're not going to really process the problems, but we're going to have people ask questions and uh, see what they, what they would prefer. Do nothing, a millage, or an assessment. Yeah, those are the choices. Pastor James Sonic, thanks for uh, stopping in this morning. Oh, thank you so much. Best of luck with tonight's town hall. And uh, we'll try to remind people also about the next week's town hall meeting, too. And uh, let me know. Uh, you know how it goes and what the what the overall kind of feeling of the citizens of Emmett Township are on this. We'd like to know. Well, I appreciate it. All right.